Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And uh, today is day seven of Inktober. Um, I drew a decaying leaf for today's image, and I tried out something new. Um, it is called liquid frisket, and it's a masking fluid. So wherever you paint this fluid, it masks your image. So you can paint watercolor or inks over it, and then when that dries, you rub off the masking fluid and that part of your image remains white. So it's really good for small details that would normally be hard to paint around um, that you can just mask it instead and it's way easier than painting around it. Um, anyways, <laughs> the final image didn't turn out as good as I thought, um, but this was definitely just a learning um, experience for me. I've never used liquid frisket before, um, and I think I know how I could fix it in the future. Um, so here I'm just applying the inks over top of the dried frisket, and I think I did the inks way too thick. So in the future, I think I would water them down first and then paint that over instead of directly out of the bottle. Um, and I think I would also avoid painting big globs right over the frisket because that was harder to peel off in the end. And this is the final image after I've peeled it off. It's messy. Yeah, I didn't really like it. I might try cleaning up a little bit with some white paint or something. Um, and I also wanted to talk a little bit about how the first week went. So I'm going to flip through the first seven images of Inktober and let you guys know how it went so far. I am really proud that I got through the first week, the first week of Inktober um, recording and uploading every day. Yay, I did it! <laughs> So the first image was a self-portrait, and I just use a brush pen for that. This one is a fantasy character of mine, um, and I had a lot of fun with the gold ink on this one. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm just like enamored by it. Can't stop looking at it. And the next one, let's see. This is my original character named Pons, and I have like never drawn anything chibi before, so I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I think it's cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you think it's cute? Do you think it's a uh, uh, cliche chibi look, or if I should change anything else in the future? I know his hands look kind of realistic, but I thought it worked well with the little teacup. And here is some fan art of Hestu from Zelda Breath of the Wild. I had a lot of fun with this one. I mixed my green inks with my black inks and it made this really cool natural green shimmery color. Well, shimmery is not natural, but it's still pretty. And then here is my original character, Levaine, and she's in the same universe as Pons. And the mirror part was cut from a black sticky note and glued down, so that was fun to do. Well, <laughs> it was an experience, let me tell you. And here is day seven. Oh, wait, I missed one. The first one is actually in a different sketchbook. But yeah, this is still day seven. Um, the shimmery gold and green is in there so it's still sparkly and I kind of like the red it's like almost it looks like blood especially when I put it down and it spread out from the water it was really pretty and I believe I switched to my other sketchbook yep this is my Canson mixed media and the first image was actually just a practice image um, but I counted it as day one it was actually done um, September 30th. It started and then I finished it at like 1am October 1st. 
Uh, but I wanted to have something to show on YouTube October 1st, so that's why I did that. And then here are some of the prompts that I have in the back of the sketchbook. In case I don't have any ideas for an Inktober piece, I just look at my list and see if I get inspired by any of the words. I'm not necessarily doing every single one of them. Make sure you press that thumbs up button if you like this video and press subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Boop!